Hi everyone, welcome to the Under 23 channel where we're just going to be wrapping up the official release list which the club have brought out. Mo Diome was the big hitter uh, for the first team but we're going to take a look at the Under 23s. Just before we do that, um, a couple of reports have come out and it, look it's no massive big secret. We knew this when we interviewed Sola Miobi that he has set the Craddock have now picked this up to be the loan manager at Newcastle United. When we interviewed him we asked him about the future and we pushed on will he be getting a job at Newcastle. Remember what he said? Have a look at this. Yeah, and we understand understand that you are looking at a, an academy coaching role at the club? Um, I, I know that the roles have come, uh, there's been roles made, obviously I've been at academy for years now, you know, coaching um, with the under-14s, you know, um, so to me, obviously I'm, I, I'm, I will always be affiliated with the club, it's in my bones, it's in my blood, you know, and obviously if, if the right thing does come along, you know, I'm, I'm sure that hopefully there'll be discussions happening, um, but yeah, it's, it's something that, you know, it's something, it's a club that I, I will always always be a part of and it will always be a part of me obviously still uh, part of the foundation as well right no surprises there we expect that to be announced very shortly with the shake-up see what I've done there shake-up with the under 23s uh, there but um, players of less we already already know about Cal Roberts we've talked about him on the main channel quite a bit as well and recently on this channel as well so he's obviously um, heading out um, no surprise either that Joseph Yarny hasn't really made it. He was sent out on loan this season. Played regular football in lower leagues, but that's, that doesn't surprise me too much. The centre back that we got from Everton a couple of years. Surprised about Tyreek Bartlett, you know, uh, son of Sean hasn't really made it in Newcastle unfortunately he's never been able to get himself probably up to second choice striker yes I know he's behind Sorensen and Yannick Torrey but he's played third choice this season for the under 23s and we only play the one up top so he's struggled to get game time yes I know injuries Juanito as well another one who's been released as well that doesn't surprise me much he hasn't got much game time the Spaniard Otto Hutentanen I'm surprised at that young goalkeeper from Scandinavia, I'm a little bit shocked that he, he's been left to go. I thought he might sign on for another year or two. Stefan O'Connor, he's getting on. Signed from Arsenal again a couple of years back. Hasn't really had uh, any sign of breakthrough or even training with the first team. No surprises there. And as well as scholars, Max Allen, Thomas Cole, Sam Joyce... Disca Singa Medida as well have all left St. James's Park. So a couple of surprises there in for me. Not so much the other ones. But new deals, fantastic news to see Tom Allen, Owen Bailey, the under-23 captain, Dan Barleza, Mo Sangare, Liam Gibson, Nathan Harker and Oliver Wall as all sign contract extensions at the club. They're regulars with the under-23s. Obviously, I know Dan Barleza had a great success, successful loan out at Accrington earlier on this season as well. He played a lot of games across the northwest side. And also, we're going to see second-year scholars being, being handed out to Ryan Bart Barrett, Dan Langley and Jack Young as well. Uh, but Rafa Benitez went on to say about the players in the academy who are, who are leaving and Benitez turned around and said the players from the academy have also given the best to the club over many years we thank them each of them and wish them good luck with the next step in their career so it is a sad it is a sad thing that you see local lads leave the club but this is football it's, it happens up and down the country at the highest level and the lowest level unfortunately so unfortunately some of them haven't made the grade but I'd like to say Carl Roberts the one in particular as well a um, little bit of a soft spot for Carl but Hopefully he goes on and gets a great career for him as well. One person that wasn't really mentioned on that list was go was uh, striker Lewis McNall. Um, he's also left the club as well. Been a bit surprised that the club didn't uh, bring up his name in that list. But uh, this is what Kyle thought of uh, some of the under twenty threes leaving. But Colin Roberts as well. He's it's been confirmed what we've known for a while now that he is being released as well as Joseph Yarny as well. So. It, best of luck to Carl Roberts in his time at Newcastle. He, didn't, he couldn't make the grade, which is unfortunate. I would have liked to see him get more of a chance after his goal in the FA Cup against Blackburn, but it wasn't a B. Should he have been given a new contract? Get, let us know in the, in the comments box below. And there you have it. That is your latest with the youth development at Newcastle. We'll keep you posted if Shola does get officially appointed as well. Head over to the main one where we're talking a lot about the takeover the last week and obviously the charity game as well. Thanks. Ta-da. Bye.